Hello everybody, hope that you're doing very well and welcome to this evening's, this morning's, <laughs> this afternoon's <laughs> cryptocurrency technical analysis. It is it's 12, this afternoon's cryptocurrency technical analysis. Naturally, we are going to be going through the Bitcoin chart today, following up from that prediction that I made yesterday. Uh, obviously, we were right up at that daily level, right up at that daily level, and I felt compelled to make the video I did. Uh, I saw a lot of people waiting for all-time highs, thinking we're going to swing further at an all-time high. I saw people like longing, want, wanting to get into that long. You know, they're very keen, feeling a lot of FOMO to get into that breakout long position. And really, I just felt this is going to be a good time to save a lot of people. <laughs> so I wanted to save as much people as possible. Naturally, with giving the video that I am in a short position and I was giving that resistance obviously of the daily. But what can we say 24 hours later, that trade went exactly as predicted. And the amount of messages that I've received in the past 12 hours specifically is just crazy. You know, it is it is absolutely crazy. The amount of people that made money on that one. Oof. Yeah, it's a good it's a good morning. What can we say? Hope that you have absolutely love that one not only getting the absolute high here but also that middle key level oh man that was that was something special we'll review that right now um but yeah first of all ladies and gentlemen we have our higher daily which was in my opinion literally the last resistance of the chart and for the people that were paying attention obviously we bounced off of that 61,600 level that we were talking about a while ago but you know we had that 61,600 to uh you know the daily big level of resistance and like we were saying yesterday it's this is really the last resistance on the Bitcoin chart. And, you know, you got to you got to trade your analysis. And this is like one thing that separates myself from a lot of other a lot of other uh, analysis traders, whoever they want to refer to themselves as. But I will do my analysis and stick to my plan. You're not going to see me getting scared. You're not going to see me getting fearful. And what's the what's the what's the primary reason why I do not have these emotions anymore when it comes to seeing the trade up here and not you know, not over contemplating things, not thinking, oh, what about if we go up again? Uh, what about if we swing fire the highs? What about all of these different factors? Uh, at the end of the day, analysis, paralysis, you start to overcomplicate things. You never take the trade. I have obviously been doing this now for years. I've taken millions and millions of trades and it's just, it's just natural to me. I know where I'm right. I know where I'm wrong and I can recognize these really high probability trades and you've seen me remain patient for days on end going no trades to wait for that high probability trade and take it take it and when you see me take those trades how often do you then see me coming on the next day saying hey i've lost that trade well the majority of the time is not really happening because when i wait for my high probability trades they win and that's exactly what we had last night we well yesterday yesterday morning in fact we come up to our daily recognized that this was a nice time to short we had the uh, not just the technicals but also playing on the psychology of the market that everyone had turned really really bullish up at those highs uh, and also people were, that were wanting to short were wanting to short a swing failure pattern off the all-time high so you had the people waiting to short missing their shorts you had a lot of people brought, buying into the highs really easy to fill big short positions and hey bam to the downside that's all, all well and good no um so it really ring, brings us on to where are we here what, what's happening next well what's happening next i think we still can actually play off of these key levels ladies and gentlemen remind yourself these these key levels uh, were given by myself before any of them were actually here like they have been crazy accurate and like i've been saying like really are if not dictating influencing at the very least uh the movements here on the bitcoin chart so what we've done yesterday was obviously we rejected from our daily level okay this is obviously a nice short position nice short region we we came down in the end to bam straight off of the mid key daily level we obviously went through for me obviously i was in a short position from the high of the daily and for me i was using these as take profits this was actually my take profit three i took one at sixty thousand three hundred. obviously my second key level and then my third key level here and the reason why this was such a nice you know, I want to argue this was a really nice long uh, because of the fact you came back into your point of control. You came back into the middle of the range and you came back down to grab all of the lower liquidity. So this honestly 
you know, you could go pretty high leverage at 58,400 for an intraday long position. Like what we're saying here is you get your best swing trades off the high and the lows of the range. But this 58,400 level has offered so many day trades, so many day trades where you can really leverage it up, really leverage it up. Obviously, I must I must uh, obviously emphasize this. No financial advice, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not telling you what to do with your money. This is just educational entertainment video. Make sure you pause and understand. But hey, <laughs> I think this is a good level to leverage it up. Obviously, when we look at this level in the past, remember when I first called it on the 30th of March, and then we come down to hit it to the exact dollar. And then from there, it was just like offered so many intraday trades, like such a perfect level. And well, obviously, we had a few touches of it here, broke up to the daily, bam, come back. Yeah, what can I say? For an intraday perspective, intraday trades gave a very nice long trade. And that, that, that's undeniable. You cannot argue with that fact because we had a very substantial rise then to the upside. As you can see here, we've come back down now for a potential, uh, we could argue this maybe forms like a symmetrical type of triangle where we've put in our high, put in our low, put in our lower high, might search for our higher low. And then this will naturally form a type of symmetrical triangle before we get the break to the upside, which we can then envision coming back to test the daily. Or if we break to the downside, we'll probably test around 58,400 again. If we break that low, then we all know 56,800 as, as the next key level to the downside. It's like, you know, I really just feel, I, I just feel like it is such a privileged environment to be in right now for being a trader in Bitcoin. And I know that people are bought, you know, there are a lot of people that don't follow chart champions, I suppose, that are bored by this, that are getting chopped up by this, that are losing so much money on this range. But I've, you know, I just cannot underestimate, I just can't state like it's, this is just crazy, the amount of money that's being made right now of just trading these levels. Um, I do want to rob play this clip because I, <laughs> you know, you know me by now, if you've, if you're a subscriber to the for a few years, then you know how I love to do things. But let's just remind ourselves of those daily levels one more time. 600, the weekly below us here, 55,790. So what we can say is if we break the top of the range, we have this next daily. If we break the lower the range, we have this weekly. See what I was saying there? Well, while we were trading the range of our three key levels there, we we knew if we break to the downside, we had the weekly. If we break to the upside, we have the daily. And then it's a simple fact of like, it just is just so amazing. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Like the way that the low and the highs were able to be um, you know, just being aware of those levels. And it's like this is the thing. How how long? seven minutes. I don't want this to go on for ages, this video, but I just, I just feel there's like so much I can share. It's just like, I mean, we have our internal range. Yeah. We had those three levels, our internal range, the high, the low, and the, the midpoint, which is just a level by me that I found, what can I say? It's been very, very perfect. <laughs> but, um, you know, what, what we're saying there is then when we have the low of our range, when it breaks, we knew the level to look for our next support for the weekly. And when we broke the high of our range, we knew the next level of resistance being the daily. And then having this like extra layer of knowledge to, or not just knowledge, I suppose, but just key levels of technical analysis, you can see how it just blocks so much emotions. And like, and I truly believe that the psychological and emotional aspects of trading are just as big, if not bigger than the technical analysis itself. Okay, it's, it's pretty easy to do the technical analysis that I'm doing. It's not like anything majorly difficult. But the thing is that separates us is, is that emotional control. It really is. And, and this is why on the website we have like whole sections dedicated to psychology and emotion. Because for me, it's like such an important factor. And it's just like having that confidence in your trades, not closing early, like sticking to targets. Yeah, I, can, I just really want to like overemphasize almost that, that 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 psychological aspect is so key and you know this is what we had yesterday i put myself out there made a video could have i lost that trade of course i could have lost it but um <laughs> obviously this is what i was writing in my group yesterday most of my signal calls are via memes <laughs> you know we like to keep it a little bit meme a little bit jokey when we give the calls because we're not obviously a signals group per se and um but, you know, I made a very direct call yesterday in the YouTube video, but obviously also within the group before I made that video that I had taken a short on Bitcoin. I'll leave it the weekend. Did anyone think I was going to lose that? <laughs> I'm not going to go off on it on this video. But like I say here, like I have a big ego in trading because I crush these charts day after day after day. Like this is who I am and this is what I do. Like I trade Bitcoin 
and like i just now let my i'll just let my trades do the speaking for me i'm not gonna i'm not gonna become uh I'm not gonna say it in this video but i'm just gonna say what can we say my trades do all the speaking necessary i think on that regards and how do i do those good trades ladies and gentlemen it's just doing the technical analysis you know it's marking out all the, you can see here some of the uh, tools i'm using like pitchforks order flow volume uh harmonics uh point of controls you know uh it's just like this the, these are the things that we go through these are the steps and process that we go through to find the high probability trades you know if you are a lazy trader if you do not have the knowledge of these different tools then of course you're going to be losing a lot more trades than you win like it's just a natural Natural, it's just it's pretty obvious in my, in my opinion if you, if you don't have the knowledge necessary then you're not going to be able to know where the levels are but then it's not just knowing where the levels are it's being able to trade with millions of dollars at each of these levels and how do you start to increase your position sizes and have that confidence to trade the levels it's from taking thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of trades using these setups time and time and time again you get confidence why be because they work like period like they just work Okay, uh, some of the some of the comments that made me laugh yesterday was, which was it? Where which was the comment? Yeah, like Haymaker. Shout out to Haymaker. This guy's like absolutely full on killing it. Started with little knowledge in trading, and now like it's absolutely full on killing it, especially on XRP. Like doing so many good trades. And it's like, I think he says here, like, um, you know, it's just like crazy. Like I don't know the right words that I'm trying to get out here. It's just I just think wow i just think like wow the, 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 yeah moving on i don't know i don't know what to say about it it's just like i just feel it's so special so 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 special ladies and gentlemen i know this video hasn't been so much focused on uh well i mean how are we, how are we trading this i personally have my short from the daily i actually did get a nice long from 58 400 and it's just like you know, you come down to these levels of confluence. You got, you got to take the trades. You just got to take the trades. You just got to get into this step of doing the TA, being ready, execute, 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 execute. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the levels that you have in front of you are the levels I'm trading from. So I cannot, um, you know, what's the, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and keep this video a few more minutes. And it's just, you know, these are the levels that I'm trading from. Am I trading from 59, 659? Actually, I'm not trading from this level right now because... Well, we're, we're literally consolidating right above the level. So we're going to either wait for this symmetrical triangle to play out. Okay, that would then offer, in my opinion, a, a potential trade. Obviously, we not get the symmetrical triangle. But that sort of that sort of price action is what I'm expecting. So we've obviously potentially formed an inside day today. And then from the inside day, uh, when, you know, well, we'll literally look to see when that inside day breaks out. Um, you know, and then we'll, we'll know the level above us. We'll know the level below us. And this is the thing. We have to have that patience now to wait for the high probability. Do you have one here? In my opinion, no. Because we have one yesterday? Yes. So you just have to wait for those high probability trades and take them. I don't really feel that you have one right now. I'm expecting a little bit of a, not a, not a picture perfect symmetrical triangle where that sort of theory where we put in the inside day and then and then get a break of of that uh ladies and gentlemen i want to end with an announcement here uh shout out to the people that showed their love by the way i do love you all uh absolutely i do and the one thing that i want to end here with is that we obviously have the champions live stream tonight as i've put in the group tonight's live stream is going to be epic uh this guy's stoked for it i think lots of people are going to be stoked for it ladies and gentlemen in, in tonight's stream obviously where we go through the bitcoin trading plan we go through the levels we mark out for levels if you want to see exactly what we're doing we do everything in that stream we delete everything do all the technical analysis and tonight we're actually going to have uh, a really 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 cool episode i believe we're going to have uh Yunez on the stream we're going to have igor on the stream i think we might be trying to get chris and potentially a few others obviously we're going to basically have an, <laughs> have the all-star team on uh i think it's going to be amazing i i think like I think it's pretty cool to just have me talking you through the through the levels because hey, what could we say? We we pretty pretty much kill Bitcoin right now. But then to have Igor, Yunez, I think we might have Chris and even a few others joining us on the stream tonight. Oh man, like the amount of knowledge that's going to be dropped tonight. I mean. I don't even know what to say. I think it's going to be full on amazing. Uh, so yeah, that's what we have tonight. If you want to look forward to that chartchampions.com um i'll go through my trading plan next bitcoin trade uh for a swing trade of course and we're going to be bring on the all-stars so i think it's going to be an absolutely brilliant one tonight um 
yeah, that, that that's all I can say. I had these things loaded up that I wanted to talk through. I wanted to make, make you aware of what's going to happen tonight. And you are going to learn tonight. Um, shout out to the community who absolutely love what we're doing. And all started from obviously that call yesterday morning um, of taking that short. And what could we say? Went nice, come down to our key level, got a really strong bounce. Then you can look, obviously, this 58400 is a key intraday level for your intraday trades. On the bigger scheme of things, if you don't want to take intraday sculpts, you have your now big daily resistance, big weekly support. Uh, we all know all-time highs, if we, if we really break through that last time. And we all know weekly, well, what a crucial level. Um, big week coming up. Coinbase being listed on the stock exchange. I'll probably talk about that tonight in the Champions live stream for this public video. I'm done. I uh, hope that you've enjoyed. And uh, oh, there's one final thing that I wanted to ask. If you want me to talk you through altcoins, because I actually have started trading some altcoins recently. If you're interested in an altcoin analysis, uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see altcoins or you just want to see me stick to Bitcoin, I'm so easy. Uh, obviously, I talk about altcoins inside of the group, the ones that I've been trading recently. But if the if you, part of the public, not inside of the group, want to know, uh, let me know and I'll do like a video on altcoins. Uh, if, if nobody's interested, I'll just stick to Bitcoin because, um, yeah, I just will. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you ever so much and have a good day. Catch you tonight and goodbye. Cheers.